Hello, my name is Andreas Bjuringer. I'm Senior Project Manager Thermal Imaging Systems at Automation Technology and I would like to show you in a few steps how simple temperature measurements can be using our smart infrared camera solution IRSXI. After you have connected all the delivered cables to the corresponding connectors on the back side of the camera, just power up the system and the camera will show in the boot process on the back side when it has finished. After you see the two green LEDs, just start our IRSX Discover tool, which can be downloaded using the product support flyer, which is also located in the delivery package. Once installed, just double click the icon and the software will start. The device will be shown in the middle of the software and here you will get some additional information about the camera itself, like the type of camera, the speed, the installed lens, the serial number, as well as the network settings. To connect to the camera, just right-click to the device and open the device website. Your browser will start and just log in as an administrator. The camera automatically redirects you to the dashboard, which helps you to find the proper position of the camera and to set up the focus to the surface that you want to inspect. Once you have done all setups, just go to the Jobs tab and create a new job. Click on the Continue button and you will be redirected to the Job Wizard which helps you to find the right settings to perform your measurements. You can do a lot of setup inside of the configuration, but I will just show you the ones that we need to perform a simple temperature measurement. The first step will be just select the temperature range. Here in our case, we just take the one up to 140 degrees C because we don't expect temperatures that will be higher. In the next step, we would like to show you on the dashboard not only the image, we want to show you the image as well as a result table. To perform the measurement, we need an area of interest. You have a lot of variety here. In our case, we just select a rectangular area of interest by just clicking it in the infrared image and then you have the possibility to move the AOI and to modify the width as well as the height. Once you have found the right position, you just need in addition a so-called result container. The result container enables you to show the information that will be taken out of the area of interest and show it in the result table. To make this happen, just hit the visibility tab and enable the result table. And now the information that will be taken out of the area of interest will be shown on the dashboard. Just add the area of interest to the corresponding result table in case that you want to enable an evaluation, you need a threshold. Here in this case, we take an upper limit and set it to 55 degrees C because we expect temperatures that will be higher than this level. Enable the evaluation. We just want to take the maximum out of the area of interest Compare it against the predefined threshold. And at least we just want to enable an action. We set it as a label. Here in this case, AOI alarm. We have a pre alarm and we just want to show it the operator in the event log with the timestamp, the category, and the predefined label. Once you have done all setups, just hit the Finish tab, 
Save and Activate and the camera will redirect you to the dashboard. On the left-handed side, you will be shown the live stream of the camera, the results table on the right-handed side and in case of an alarm, an entry will be done here in the event log. And now my colleague will fill up the can with a liquid. When you enable the AOI overlay, the label will be shown here, the, uh, the area of interest inside of the live stream. We have a alarm here on the right side. The result table will show you the taken temperature out of the area of interest. And here, as we can see, with a predefined limit of 55 degrees C, the system detects an alarm with the predefined label. Thank you very much for paying attention.